As a parent, you're always hoping for the best. We wish that our children are born healthy. We count their fingers and their toes. When all of a sudden that dream is shattered, it's, it's very, very difficult. Diabetes takes a lot away. Okay, where should we put the new site? Try the one below it. Yeah. You were at this 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You're always balancing what you're eating, what you're doing, your blood sugars, your, your insulin injections. You could do everything right, everything perfect, and things still go wrong. It's the only way to survive. And unfortunately, not everybody does. Having diabetes myself, you do it, you get through life, but it's not something you ever wish for anybody, especially your child. I wish I knew what my husband felt like when things go wrong with Marley's diabetes. Um, I can speak only for myself, and it's loaded with a tremendous amount of guilt. I've gone through this for almost 40 years. Isn't it enough? Why does she have to go through it, too? It's an awful feeling of helplessness that you cannot protect your child. You are the heroine You save the day It's a very hard disease to have. You never can sort of take a day off from your diabetes. You have to think about it all the time. So when I think about a child with diabetes, um, it's uh, very difficult for me to imagine how that child can, you know, be a child and also have that relentless uh, vigilance. My role is to help those children be children. So the Canadian Clinical Trial Network is a research network made up of a group of researchers who are dedicated to type 1 diabetes research, dedicated to finding better ways of managing type 1 diabetes and curing it. It's collaborative in a way which I haven't seen happen in Canadian research before. Picture the uh, olden days of clinical research. It could take me years to um, gather enough uh, volunteers with diabetes to properly answer this question. Now imagine a world where we have a network across the country. We can all start a research study today and possibly finish getting all the patients that we need for that study by the end of this week. By networking together, having regular meetings, collaborating on trials, expanding the trials that we were doing, we hopefully will have the answers in an accelerated fashion. This is truly a game changer in the world of research and certainly in the world of type 1 diabetes research. We've made huge strides, but we're still, you know, inching forward to where potentially we could be. I think the CCTN has enabled us to nurture ideas and, um, and, and work together to make it better. And better studies which will have lead to better results and maybe a cure. I hope so. Hope is a very difficult word for me. I've never allowed myself to hope. If you hope and it's not there, the disappointment is huge and it's crushing and that makes it difficult to go on. With the current research, I am trying to allow myself to start to hope again. The white lights and black skies and a tear in your eye And the trouble that I wish for Marley a cure. Not just a cure when she's older and, and has had, her body has suffered, but now, so she gets her life back and gets to enjoy it. Parents couldn't ask for anything more. You